Prince Harry may not even regret missing Prince Philip's memorial service because he no longer appears to care about things unless they are things impacting him and Meghan, a royal biographer has claimed. The Duke of Sussex was slammed for staying at his $14 million Californian mansion instead of attending the Westminster Abbey Thanksgiving event, blaming his absence on a row over police protection, despite a planned visit to the Netherlands in two weeks' time for the Invictus Games. His excuse of security concerns as a reason not to have returned has been branded pathetic by former aides and royal experts. Royal biographer Angela Levin questioned whether Harry will ever recognize his appalling behavior after being the only major royal figure not to attend Philip's memorial service. He is such a changed person, it is difficult to know if he will even regret not attending, she told The Sun. The Harry I interviewed was caring and kind and instinctive. Nowadays, he is so full of resentment and me me me. He doesn't seem to have any broader range to care about things unless they are things impacting him and Meghan. Many royals from abroad made the effort, yet Harry's pathetic excuse is that he didn't feel safe. The police would have had it completely covered. The royal children were all there, the heirs to the throne, so it just doesn't make any sense that the protection wouldn't be there. Other royal watchers also slammed Harry for being the only senior royal to miss the tribute to Prince Philip, with GMB presenter Richard Maidley asking, what is he playing at? Royal expert Angela Levin tweeted, heartwarming to see the great-grandchildren at Prince Philip's Thanksgiving service. Plenty of royals, and hundred of those connected to his charities. No one will forget or forgive he who didn't feel safe. Fans took to Twitter to criticize the Duke of Sussex. One wrote, I always defend Prince Harry no matter what but now he can royally kiss my fat A. He's far too important to attend his granddad's memorial. Another said, It's shameful that Prince Harry refused to attend, but this is the same guy that trashed his family on global TV while his grandfather lay seriously ill in hospital. While a third commented, Sorry but Prince Harry should be there, no question and no debate. He probably has better things to do in the United States of America with that awful wife of his. A disgrace of epic proportions. Visiting monarchy included the kings and queens of Belgium, the Netherlands, Norway, Spain, Sweden, and royals from Denmark, Luxembourg, Monaco, Bahrain, Greece, Romania, and Serbia. Outside Westminster Abbey, fans told of their incredulity that Harry did not attend. Retired bookbinder Sky London, 61 from Edgware, North London, said, I'm disappointed Harry has chosen not to come because of security, yet he's happy to fly to the Netherlands where he'll have no security. Mum of four Mindy Schenk, 54, who extended her UK holiday from California to be there, said, I managed to make it when Harry and Meghan didn't. I feel bad for the Queen that she will be without her grandson on this day. Meanwhile, Prince George and Princess Charlotte come to the front at Westminster Abbey, accompanying their parents, Prince William and Duchess, Catherine. George and Charlotte arrived at Westminster Abbey for the service this morning wearing a smart suit and dress. As BBC News coverage followed the Cambridges as they entered the Abbey with William holding George's hand and Kate holding Charlotte's commentator Roy Nico noted it's lovely to have them here it's a really huge event for them. Hugh Edwards agreed, adding, it's, just a proper family occasion. And actually accomplishing it very well, he looks the part, Hugh said. Roya continued, it's very nice for Princess Charlotte to be there with him today as well. As the six-year-old princess followed her older brother down the procession, Roya observed, she's an absolute natural isn't she? Lovely image, really nice, Hugh replied. Nice smiles and a firm handshake.